Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. So, a woman by the name of Alexandria Washington and her friends decided to get a quick bite to eat at a place called Who's That Southern Food this past Friday when they unfortunately got this receipt that says this. It says black bitches and silver car. So this happened in Oxford, Mississippi, but we all know the history of Mississippi when it comes to racism and what has happened to the black community. Um, now that drive through worker has been fired, but, well, that's what it says in the article. Although I'm going to show a video instead, although if you want to read the article in your own time or watch the video, um, I will leave a link in the description box and comment section. So here it is. An Oxford drive through is under fire after a picture went viral of a racist receipt that got one person fired. WTVA's Evan Hensley spoke with the woman who got that receipt. He's joining us live with her reaction. This is just a normal Friday for Alexia Washington. We just wanted to grab some shrimp from one of her favorite places, the Who Dat drive through in Oxford. But after she paid, she took a look at her receipt and noticed something that caught her attention. If you create an environment where people feel comfortable to say things like that, to act in that manner, then you're enabling the problem. Alexia Washington says that this is the receipt she received at Who Dat's drive through on Friday. And something told me to look at your receipt. So I looked at it and it had black bees and silver car. My car isn't silver for one. And for two, um, I was rude. I didn't have any type of, he didn't have any type of hostility with me. And Washington said that she is not going to hold it against food ads because this is just one occurrence from one person she'd never seen there before at a place that she spent a ton of her time. Washington said she immediately talked to the manager and received an apology from the worker, but she didn't know if she should report it to law enforcement. When it first happened, I wanted to go to the police, and I sat there and thought about going to the police, and I was like, oh, I can't. I don't feel safe going to the police because our police department is under investigation. So she posted it on her Facebook to share her story. And I'm trying to figure out ways to move forward and make also a more progressive place because I take this all as a learning experience and we all should move forward from it and see how we can make Oxford a better place. And I did go over to the drive through and they are closed for today, according to HottyToddy.com, who got to receive a statement from the owner. They said that that employee has now been fired and that they will not tolerate this kind of stuff from employees. Reporting live in Oxford, Evan Hensley, WTVA 9 News. See why people are... Sorry about now. that. Sorry about that. Now you see why more people in the black community are saying build more black-owned businesses, build more restaurants, are black-owned. Why I also do the black in business segments on my channel to talk about different restaurant um, places that black people and the community are building for their community and how some of them are actually doing successful. It's because of stories like this and incidents like this. Some of these restaurants that are non-black owned and stuff, they ain't just going at, well, let's just, let's just say it. any of these non-black owned businesses, some, not all, but some, are racist towards black people like this is showing you right there they do not want black people in their business even though they need our money they still secretly don't want us and want to find a way where they won't don't need black bit uh, money to uh, keep their businesses afloat they want us gone they want us to have nothing so this is why I do my black and business segments where I talk about black people involved with business and where why you have the um, apps like the official black wall street app and stuff talk on um, whether it is to help you show where nearby black owned businesses and stuff like that that's why uh, incidents like this what happened to Alexander Washington is why we push for us to create our own 
because more of this, this is not the first, but I assure you, this ain't going to be the last. It's going to keep getting worse and worse and worse, which means we're going to have to start coming together, building our own stuff. Um, it's going to happen. One day, it probably was going to happen to me one day. I, I'm expecting it to happen. I mean, I know I live in a, a diverse neighborhood, but I, that doesn't mean something like this is not going to happen, even though it hasn't happened yet. I'm expecting that one day it could happen. Even if it will never happen to me, I'm expecting that one day it could happen. And I'll need to be prepared. Because let me tell you something, incidents like this is going to continue happening. And we're going to have to push to just, you know, support our own. Now, the one thing I'm happy about is, is that the the that the leadership in that building did step in and fire that employee so basically it was just a, a disgruntled employee because sometimes the manager doesn't know who they're hiring but still more stuff still what if there's more employees and stuff they need to make they need to vet these employees so they don't have no racist bone in them, so they don't have incidents like that. But also at the same time, we still need to be in the situation of going, or owning our own places and getting our own stuff. Or we're going to see more attacks like this happen. But that's all I got to say. Um, like I said, I'll leave the link to the article, and you can also watch the video on this um, article um, in the description box and comment section. I want you to know, write down, I want y'all to write down in the comment section what you think about this situation. Um, uh, make sure you like and share the video, share the article, and share that video as well so that more people are talking about this. this this is a conversation we all need to be talking about but that's all I have to say for now um, I'll also leave the links to different um, uh, links to different accounts that I'm using uh, that I want people to follow me whether it be YouTube Black Junction whatsoever I post do posts on Twitter Black Share Net and such and such so check me out on those websites as well well that's all i have to say for now thank you for watching and i hope to catch y'all in another video peace everyone